Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install fascia and soffit. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So if you're into that, you may wanna subscribe and smash that like button if you get any value in this video. So if you see here behind me, I got some overhangs that need wrapped and soffit and fascia. So let's cut to the chase and get it done. If you look here, this is what's called F channel. As you can see, it's the shape of an F. And what it does is the soffit lays right into this channel and that way it gives you a place for it to rest. So we install that before we install the soffit itself. And the first thing you've got to do is you got to take a framing square, just a regular carpentry square. And uh, what you got to do is lay it against the house. Slide that piece of trim out of the way here. Just lay it against the house and slide it up till it butts into your fascia board. But I already built this bird box, so the board's already sitting where we need it to be. And if you need to know how to build one of those, I'll put a card up in the video so you can click it and go check it out. But I've made a video on how to build these bird boxes. But all right, so we already got a line or a mark here because we did this before. So now what we need to do is go down about 10 foot, use our square, make another mark, and we're gonna chalk a line. All right, so we made our mark, that square from the fascia. And now, all you gotta do is take a hammer and nail just to make uh, something that's gonna hold that chalk line. All right, now all you gotta do is pull it over to your square mark on this side. All right, now we got our line that's gonna be level with our fascia. So now all we gotta do is line the top of that F channel with the top of that mark. All right, so now just take the F channel, line it to the edge of this other wall, just flush, butt it up tight to that line and simply secure it using a regular aluminum roofing nail. I always use these inch and a quarter aluminum roofing nails. So whatever you use, uh, I recommend it being aluminum as well. So, um, so what you need to do is just go out and buy a big bucket of aluminum roofing nails. All right, so now I'm just lining it up flush with the top so the top of this F channel is flush with that line we made. And if you need to know how to install a fascia board, I made a video on that as well, and I'll put a card in the video so you can just click it and go check that out. And while you're nailing this off, you wanna to try to hit studs. I can see through his house wrap and see the marks on the OSB to where I'm hitting the stud. Even when you nail your regular siding on, you should try to hit the stud if you can. All right, so the F channel is installed securely. I'm gonna pull the camera up here so you can see up close what I did. That's what the F channel looks like up close. And as you can see, here is our chalk line that we use squaring off the edge of this fascia board and then after the line is chalked from edge to edge you want to line the top of that f channel up with the top of this line or the line itself and then run it straight across and now what we need to do is come over here and cut the soffit to length and uh, run it this way so like i just said we're going to start from here running the soffit this way so we're going to start at this bird box so we got to measure from the back of the bird box to the front of the fascia so we're going to take a measurement here we got 12 inches so whatever the measurement is, I just subtract a quarter inch and uh, that gives us room for expansion. And uh, we're gonna get out to here and see if we still got the same measurement. And we do. So we're gonna go ahead and cut two pieces for the start of this. And uh, while I'm up here, I actually can go ahead and see if 12 inches will work out through here. And it will. So we're gonna cut them all 
11 and 3 quarters inch, like I said, just to leave some room for expansion. And uh, we're going to cut about, let's see, we need about, we need about five pieces here to get done. So we're going to cut six because um, I always cut them in two sections at a time. And I'll show you exactly how I do this. You're going to love how I cut soffit. So I'm going to show you the most efficient way to cut soffit if you're a DIYer. So all you got to do is take a framing square. After you make your mark, right here's the 11 and 3 quarter inch mark I was talking about. Take a framing square, lay it against the straight edge of the soffit. So you can just kind of butt it up against this nailing flange, whatever works best for you. And then uh, slide it down to that mark. And then all you gotta do is make a square line from edge to edge. And then take a pair of snips that I got here, just regular 10 snips. And then you would just simply cut along the line and cut that piece off and then that'd be your piece off it. But I wanna show you how I do it. I built this thing years ago and it works great. And um, it's more or less just a jig, but let me show you. So here's this soffit cutter I built years ago. So all it is is some boards nailed to a piece of plywood, but I'll show you how this works. Okay, so first you have to use circular pieces here when you mount this here, because how it works is you take two pieces of the soffit, slide it in through this side, and it comes in under these two guides, and then you put your measurement on your soffit, slide it up to this uh, cutout I made, and then you run your skill saw, or in this case it's a cordless battery um, circular saw, then you just slide it down the track, and it'll cut the soffit out square two at a time. So let me show you exactly how this is done. So when this soffit comes packaged, it comes in pieces that are slip, slid together, so you'll have a finished shot and a finished shot because it's two of them slid together. Then all you gotta do is slide it into that guide that I made. So you'll go ahead and just slide it right into it like so. And then slide it clear through to the other side. And whenever you build one of these, if you do build one of these, you do gotta make it pretty precise so it's snug in there so you get good cuts. All right, slide it out, make sure your pieces are flush on the edge here and then make your measurement mark. So like we said, we need 11 and three quarter. So we make our mark and now all you do is just slide it back to the edge of that cutout for your saw. So we're gonna line it up right where our saw blade is gonna be running through here. And now you just take your circular saw and this saw blades turn backwards because if it's turned the regular way it'll crack the siding gotta turn it backwards so it just kind of melts through it almost and then just go ahead and run it through okay now voila we got two pieces of soffit that's 11 and 3 quarters inch and now if you uh have never done soffit before Using something like this is way faster than going through and showing you that original method I showed you that most DIYers would probably use. But, all right guys, so now that I showed you how to cut soffit, let's go install it. In order to do this first piece of soffit, you're gonna to need to get these small little uh, aluminum trim nails as well. They're coated in white, so they blend in with the soffit. So you're gonna to need to use the roofing nails as well. So what you wanna do, slide it right to the edge of that bird box. Make sure it's nice and square. Just double check it's not overhanging one side more than the other. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and tack this side right here first. Let me make sure that's sitting where it should have been. Yep, that's good. Okay. So you want to nail these in snug, unlike siding to where you need to leave a gap for expansion, you want these to be nailed in snug. All right, so that feels pretty good. Pretty square out in this edge. Oh, that's very nice. So now you just gotta take those little aluminum trim nails I was telling you about, and then you're gonna nail right into the little groove there in the soffit. All right, so now that's holding it right where we need it. And uh, I'm gonna put another one back here 
have to hold it from flopping down while I'm working with it. And you want to make sure you stay within a quarter inch from that edge because your fascia board will cover up those nails so you don't see them from below. If you look there, it looks nice and square from that bird box. And now what we got to do is just keep running this soffit that way. Now that we got our first piece on and locked, now we got to install the rest of them. So all you got to do, it's similar to siding. It has a locking channel on this side and it lines up with this. So you can kind of just lock it into place and then slide it where it needs to go and always push to make sure we're locked in well because if you don't do it now, it's going to be hard to do that later. So all you got to do, put a little bit of tension, not much, and then hold it and then place your nail in the nailing flange and just nail your aluminum roofing nail right into place. So that's our next piece. Then you just do the same thing going clear across to the very end. So again, just go ahead and lock it and then slide it into place. Double check, make sure we're tight. Looks like we're pretty good there. And then go ahead, pop a nail into the nailing flange and then that's all there is to it. Okay, so here's a close-up of what we got here. We got a nice little expansion gap. And as you can see, they're locked in very nicely. And just saying, look, there's the nailing flange. And you just put your aluminum roofing nail right in it like that. All right, so now it's time for fascia. All right, in order to wrap this bird box and to cover the rest of the fascia, we got to start here. And all I need to do is get a measurement from here to the edge of the house. And then from the width of the bird box, which you already know, that's 12 inches. And then the remainder piece will extend down over the soffit we already put in. So what we need to do is get those measurements and we're going to take one piece of metal and bend it to wrap that whole thing. So our measurement here looks like we got about, yeah, it's about 12 inches. And then we know this is already 12 inches. And then, like I said, the remainder of the piece is just going to continue that way. I'm just going to bend one full piece of fascia to extend out. Okay, so I got a piece of fascia here. I'm just using the six inch aluminum fascia. You buy this stuff that's already pre-made. It's usually in 10 foot sections, but this is a leftover piece I had from yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and use it up because something like that's perfect because that overhang is going to get guttering. So if we have a break that's more than necessary, um, that's no big deal because it's all covered up together. But okay, so what you want to do is find, have a cardboard surface. You want to lay it down face down. So when I wrap these bird boxes, it's really, um, it's really uh, not that bad to do, but you got to be careful. Make sure your measurements are good. So the from this edge, that's the back of the bird box. So looks like we had 12 inches roughly. So we'll go ahead and make a mark there. And now. We just take our speed square and we want to make a straight line on it to that mark. Okay, just on the part of the fascia that overhangs here, this lip. So we got to put our mark there. And then you take your 10 snips, cut that line. So let me get a little closer here so you can see. So we're going to cut that line that we made right here. These aren't the sharpest, sharpest snips. All right, so we cut it. Now you want to cut about 45 degree angle into it. So it's going to look something like that. And then what you do is I just use a square piece of board. Make sure it's cut square for this. Line it up to that cut, um, the straight line that we made, the straight cut, and then score it just once or twice, just not a lot because we don't want it to break but we do want it to bend. So now we just take it and fold it back right like that against the wood. Okay. And then we just bend it over a little more, squeeze that edge, make it a sharp corner. And then fold it back. And right there is our back side of that bird box. And now what we do is go ahead and make our next bend. So we're going to go 12 inches out, like we said. All right. And then make our square line. 
And you can also do this in sections, but this definitely will keep the bird box more watertight. So we're going to go ahead and cut that line. And then we're going to cut the 45 out of it. All right, so we got it looking something like that. Put our board back up to that straight line. Just score it a couple times. And then we're going to bend this piece now. And sometimes when you go to bend it, um, you might got to fold the one side out just a little bit so it starts folding into um, the metal instead of butting against it. There we go. All right. So, same thing. We just go ahead and fold it in a little more to make the edge look a little sharper. So we want a nice, pretty job when we're done. Okay. So, there's that piece that's going to wrap the bird box. So let's go install this thing. Okay, so we know this piece of metal just wraps around this bird box like that. So let's go ahead and slide it into place. And always get on this side because we got to get under this drip edge. So we go ahead and slide it right where it needs to go. That looks good. We're tight here. All that feels pretty good. Now we just need to make sure we're pushed up all the way. So let's just go ahead and we can face nail this because it's going to get covered up with um, the guttering. So we would not face nail like that on the gable side because it will not get covered up. And now we put a nail through the bottom up into the soffit and we want to make sure where these grooves are that's where we put the nail at. So in this case we'll go ahead and pop it right here. Make sure it's pushed tight against the house or the fascia board before you drive this in. All right. Okay, that's all there is to that. And now we need to nail the other side. All right, so on this uh, piece of fascia that's wrapped in this bird box, let's make sure we're pushed tight against the house and our corner looks good. Make sure it's held up tight, holding that fascia or the soffit into place. And now this one, you want to nail back towards the house here. The reason why you want to put a nail back here is because your J-channel is going to cover that up. So you won't be able to see that nail, which it's always good to try to cover up your nails when you can. Okay, now that our bird box is wrapped, we can start our soffit going up the side of this gable. And first thing we need to do is get our F-channel installed. And in this case, wherever this F channel butts down to that bird box, you need to put whatever pitch roof you got onto the piece of F channel. So to do that, I got a 712. Take your speed square, just put a 712 on the end here. All right, so now that we got the right angle on our piece of F channel, all you do, in my case, I already got my overhang built and I use two by sixes, the same thing that my fascia is. So that makes it easy when you're installing this because you just butt it up against the uh, blocks that's holding the fascia board on, slide it down where you need it, and go ahead and nail it right up against the blocks that's supporting that fascia. Oops, drop the nail. I hate when that happens. You, you'll notice you'll drop nails at the most inconvenient time to drop a nail. And don't worry about that piece ever hanging out there. We're gonna put it where it goes here in just a minute. And now you just nail it um, about every 18 inches or so. Okay, so we got the F channel nailed up to here. So what we can go ahead and do before we go out there and nail the other side of that F channel that's hanging, is go ahead and start putting our soffit in up to it. So when we move our ladder, we can keep running the soffit and nailing that F channel at the same time instead of moving our ladder a bunch of times. So it looks like we got about a 12 inch overhang there. 
And you always check in a couple spots in case it's off. About 12 inch overhang there, yep. So we can cut this about the same as we did our other overhang is 11 and three quarter. Okay, so now we're gonna install the soffit. All we gotta do, put it into the F channel, slide it down until it butts ever so gently into or up against the bird box, which that looks about right. Okay, and now wherever that butts, just go ahead and drive a nail right there. Okay. So it looks pretty good. And what I do on this first piece, just like our other first piece we started right under here, is I'll put a, one of those aluminum fascia nails to hold this up just so it's not in the way. Okay, once you got your first piece of soffit in, go ahead and uh, repeat that process. Just lock it in to the first piece of soffit, pull kind of snug, make sure we're not overhanging that fascia. Looks good. And just so, um, for those who don't know, this wood's actually called sub fascia, then the piece of metal that goes over it is the uh, real fascia. Okay, we got the soffit ran up to the end of that F channel, so now we need to install the fascia, and it's gonna overhang this a little bit, so I'll show you what you gotta do here. So here's the piece of fascia, and this is the back side. So we're gonna flip it so you can see what it looks like. So what we gotta do is leave an 18 inch tail overhang the end of that bird box. So what we gotta do, you just gotta flip it back over and you just take your knife and score along this crease just a few times. And then after you score it, snip 18 inches up. In this case, it's 18 inches, it might be different for you. Then fold this back and forth until you snap it off. I'll show you how to do it. So right there it is. So we know not to score too far past that. And I'll always score first before I cut that because this keeps it strong. And uh, if, it's, if it's cut right there, it's not as strong. So just a few scores will be fine. All right, so now all you do is take your 10 snips. Well, first, we want to put a square line there. So always try not to eyeball things. <laughs> we always want to make sure we do as good as works we can. So we go ahead and cut that 18 inches back. Whoa, whoa. And do not let that hit the ground because this stuff is expensive. All right. So now after that's cut, all you got to do, like I said, is fold it. Well, I like to just fold it all the way back first. Okay, All right, now let's fold it forward. And just kind of work it back and forth until it snaps. All right, now that this piece is off, whenever you go up there and put this on, this is gonna overhang, and then we're gonna cut that the uh, same size as that dog box, or sorry, bird box. Okay, so just like we did on the other overhang, we wanna get up under the drip edge. And now that we're up under the drip edge, just slide it down until you butt into that bird box. About right there. And now what we do, we just take one of our aluminum fascia nails right here. And now we don't nail the face. We nail from the bottom up into one of these grooves. So make sure it's back all the way and up and we're where we need to be down there. And I'm going to pop a nail there. Make sure we're back against the fascia, sub fascia board all the way. All 
All right, so now um, this ain't going anywhere. I need to go ahead, put a nail into that drip edge while I'm here. So like I said, it's right in that drip edge crease. And make sure we're up all the way everywhere else where we put a nail there so it doesn't fold. Looks pretty good. So you always want to make sure you nail this drip edge so air can't get up under it and pull that drip edge up so it kind of seals that whole area right there. So that looks good. So yeah, about every, um, probably about every 18 inches, two foot, put a nail and then put one up in the drip edge and don't put any in this part here because uh, it'll be all wavy if you do. Okay, so the reason why I don't put any nails in here yet is because I want to keep this flimsy. What I do is take a pencil and trace against the back side of this bird box. Get a nice visible pencil mark and then same underneath. And now, since it's not nailed, it gives me plenty of flexibility here. So we can just kind of fold it out and cut right along that line. And now it cuts the bottom. So, all we gotta do now is nail this edge and this piece of fascia is installed. I like to put a nail down here relatively low. Let's put about three here on the end. Cause this is a place that wind could easily get up under the fascia and pull it off. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop one here. All right, that looks good. And that's how you install the fascia over your bird box and your overhang. All right, I wanna show you up close. So as you can see here, that is your bird box wrapped in aluminum fascia. And that is your soffit running up the gable end. And to sum up everything, all you're going to do is continue this. You overlap your next piece of fascia over that edge about half inch to an inch and then same thing up here, you're going to want to go ahead and run your piece um, of F-channel, then your soffit, then your fascia clear up to the end, put a 712 in this case, and then continue going. And then when you get on this end, you take it and start your fascia up this way after you run your soffit. That is how you install soffit and fascia. And again, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And if you found any value in this video, comment below what the most important thing you learned was. All right, guys, as you can see, I got a bunch of software I got to do yet. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.